In this video, I want to discuss the Maximo Combo Box and how it can be used as a simple user interface component. In the example for this video, we will consider the State Province field on the address object, which can be found in the organization's application. As you can see, the field is currently a freeform um, field with no, no validation, no, no domain associated to it. In general, the combo box uh, requires uh, five steps. Um, identifying the candidate field for the combo box, uh, creating a domain if required, uh, associate your, do your domain to uh, your database attribute, uh, applying changes to the database configuration, and configuring the attribute through Application Designer. So to get started, let's first confirm the, the field that we want to adjust. So in this case, we're going to be working on the address, address3 field. So if we go to the database configuration application, and we open up the address object, we go to the address3 attribute, we'll see that the field is currently marked as an ALN50. Um, this is probably pretty standard for a freeform field. If this were a field that we were building from scratch, it might make more sense to, to shrink this field down to something that more closely resembles a domain where you have a smaller code with a longer description. But for this example, I think it'll still make sense. Um, I do want to point out that there is an existing domain for state province in, in this environment, but it doesn't match the data type and the length. So I, I figured it'd be easier for us to go ahead and create a brand new one. So in this example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new domain, step two, create a new domain um, of an ALN50 for our state province. So I'm going to go to the domains application. I'll just jump to it right through here. I'm going to go ahead and create new, add new domain. Go to add new ALN. I'm just going to call this a uh, custom state province. Custom state province. For the data type, we're going to make it match our attribute, which was an ALN and our length was 50. And then we'll give ourselves just a couple values here. We'll give ourselves um, NY for New York. And then we'll give ourselves another one, uh, um, GA for Georgia. And we'll give ourselves uh, FL for Florida. We'll go and hit OK. And now we have created our domain, so we can search it by uh, CS. Probably should have put it. All right, custom state province. Here it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click on return with value, so I can pull it back to my object, my my attribute here. So now you can see here that we have a domain attached to our attribute. So that's step two: is associating the the domain. Or some, excuse me, step three, associating your domain to the database attribute. I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. And then um, because of the change we made, this is a non-structural change, so we can um, apply this change to our database without admin mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply configuration change, start. OK. Metadata is being refreshed. Waiting for our non-structural database configuration to finish. Looks like it's finishing up here. I like to get the pop-up that says, I waited long enough. Great. OK. So now we actually get to go over to Application Designer. Application Designer for our organization's application. Oops. It's probably called Site, yeah. So we go to our organization's application. We go to our addresses tab. We're going to go ahead and click on the palette. We're going to bring down a combo box right here. I'll put it right on top of the zip code, postal code. I'm going to go ahead and go to the control properties. And the attribute was address 3. State province automatically populated. In this case, I'd probably end up 
hiding this field, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a, uh, the, the previous field we probably won't want any longer, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a fake sig option. I have to do that through front end, don't I? Yeah. I'll just leave that alone for now. Go ahead and save. So now our second field below our state province field has our combo box. So now if we go to the organization's application, open up our organization, go to the addresses section, there is a value that we can select from here. So I can select New York, for example. And, and now you see that my state province is set to New York or to Florida, and I can click Save. Seeing some user interface confusion between the field, the previous value, the ALN, the text box, and the combo box. Um, obviously, we would re we'd remove the text box in a, in a production setting, so we'd, there was no confusion for the users. But um, what, 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 I've, what I've found is that, in general, um, the combo box is is used much less often than many of the other input types available in Maximo. Um, however, I think it's great for a number of reasons. Number one, the minimal screen space. Um, specifically, you'll see a lot of times people will have, uh, for example, this tax code one, they'll have the short code here and then a, a box next to it, kind of like this, where it has a long description next to it. But in, in general, your users may not be interested in these little bitty codes right here. They're just interested in the description. So you can kind of conserve some space. Obviously, this combo box is really wide. You could shrink this down a little bit and make it, make it fit a little better. Um, I think it helps to keep the application a little bit simpler, right? With, with only one field, not having to have two, I think it's easier for users to understand. Um, you don't need a relationship. So in, in this tax code example, if, if there had been a relationship um, to pull in the description right here, that would have been a second relationship. And in my in my example, you saw that there was no relationship required to pull in this description. Um, and then lastly, the last reason I, I like these is the, the data is stored inside the table on this field, not as the word Florida, but as the short code FL behind the scenes. So you, you don't have to worry about um, people changing the descriptions and it impacting your data because the data is actually being stored as the code, not the description. Um, I did want to point out, um, just be aware that you'll notice there is no filtering on combo boxes. So it does work better with smaller lists, um, but that's, that's just a consideration. So if you've got a reasonably small list and no reason for filtering, this is a, is a, nice, a nice option. Okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, good luck.